Hello and welcome to this project. So here I have a, a dimple lock, six pins, that I got from Adrian Leon from Spain. Um, yeah, and I, I just picked it open without any major problems because it has only uh, standard pins as you can see and the precision in this lock is not very good. So it's not a big, big deal to open this lock. Um, yeah, and what I plan to do, uh, I want to improve the the picking uh, resistance, or I want to in increase the picking fun with this lock. So, actually I want to have uh, spools here instead of the standard drivers, but these uh, pins are very small. So, I cannot, um, I cannot modify these pins and I can also not use uh, normal spools because um, they would not fit into the chambers. So what I plan to do is I want to drill the holes here to make them a little bit bigger and also drill here uh, these holes um, to increase the, the diameter of the chambers in the, um, in the Bible so that I can use uh, standard pins. And actually this is the this is the situation. Currently we have 2.6 millimeter chambers and I will increase them to 3.0 so that I can use uh, standard pins. Maybe I will uh, drill only every second hole so that I don't get into problems um, with the space here in between that it doesn't get too small. And I have a blank for this key, no working key, but a blank. And if everything works works pretty nice, I will also have a working key after my um, after my work. So yeah, I will show you my my pins that I plan to use. Maybe only half of them. Yeah, so I will go downstairs and start uh, making my modifications. Hold on. Okay, so the, the lock um, body is clamped up in a vise. I will first uh, flatten it a little bit and then I will try to drill um, every second uh, chamber here. <laughs> Okay, so as you see, um, every second hole in the Bible and in the plug um, is enlarged. And uh, what I do now is I will choose the the pins um, for the key for the key, also the, the key pins. And then I will try to make a key for this lock. Here is the blank, and that's how it currently looks like. And my plan is uh, just to take a drill and to, yeah, 
drill a little bit and check if the pin is flat and continue until the last one is flush with the surface of the plug. Hold on. So after a lot of careful drilling I got my result, uh, here it is, all pins, all key pins are flat and key looks like this, not a real beauty but works. So next will be to complete the work on the housing so that the uh, uh, driver pins will not come out anymore. So hold on. Okay, so to close the holes here in the open chambers you will probably use set screws. But first I don't have set screws currently. And second I don't want to waste uh, the space here. So there's not, not so much space. And with set screw it would probably end here and then you have the spring and there is not, not so much space left for, for the driver pin. So I decided to bend myself um, a piece of a steel sheet and to cover it like that. And to fix that uh, I tested different methods and one was this, this band here. I don't know the, the, the right name but it was it, it, it is too long. so. Um, it doesn't doesn't stick here, so would be the nicest solution. But yeah, it's too long. Next, I I tried the uh, I tried that guy here, but the problem with that is um, it's permanent, so you cannot easily um, remove the the steel sheet anymore. And finally, I ended up using a rubber band, just like just like this here, and. Um, first, it's it's very flexible, so you can easily remove it uh, if you if you need to, and surprisingly, it's it's uh, tight enough, so it's very it's very stable, and for this little pressure in the in the chambers, this is more than sufficient. Okay, so that was. Uh, the menu, yeah, the modification part. Now I will reassemble the lock and test how it picks. Hold on. Um, before I put it back together, uh, once again the pinning. So it's alternating original small, spool normal size, and so on and so forth. And here you see the plug, also with the corresponding small original and uh, normal size pin alternating. Okay, so let's put it back together. So it's put back together and seems to work. It's locked and when I use my self-made key, works very nice and smooth. So now I try to pick this, this nice modified lock. Hold on. Okay, lock is clamped up in a vise. Here is the key. Lock works. So let's pick it. And this keyway is just made for being picked, I think. You can apply tension here, very uh, comfortable uh, at the edge here. And you have enough room in the middle of the keyway to manipulate the pins. I use this flag and just touch the pins like this one by one. Uh, to get myself a full set. Okay, here we are. We have got a good deep full set. Now I'm looking for a 
Boo. And here we are. Okay. Lost my false set. Got it back. And another spool. Didn't get it. Okay, got it. Now come out. It's eating my pick. Ah, come out. Yeah. Okay. I think one more spool to go. Here we are. Didn't get it. Ah, it's hard to get under this pin. <laughs> we'll try it this way around. And open. Yeah, that's a fun pick with so many spools. All right, so thanks for watching and happy picking and pictures at the end of this video. Bye bye.